is Solomon Solomonic Demons and today we're going to be checking the Pro Core Rat. The Pro Core Rat is a distortion pedal that came out back in the mid 70s. Yes, this pedal has been in the market for almost 50 years and over the years it had a lot of revisions. There is a lot of versions of the Pro Core Rat. I don't want to tell you all the revisions, uh, all the history about the Procorat. There is a full documentary made by the YouTuber and pedal builder JHS. If you guys are interested in watching the full documentary where JHS track all the history, all the revisions of the pedal, I'm gonna leave the link of the description where you can find that documentary. What we're gonna focus in this video is in the current version of the Procorat that we're gonna check some tones with the pedal. I'm gonna tell you what I think with the pedal, my experience with it, the way that I commonly use this pedal because this pedal is really versatile. There is many ways to use it as a boost, uh, as a fuzz, as a distortion or high gain distortion because this pedal have a unique and iconic sound that I think that is a must have in any pedal board. What you guys see on the mix was my Gibson Les Paul Studio. This guitar is loaded with a Seymour Duncan JP on the bridge and we have a Seymour Duncan slash on the neck. The guitar was connected straight to the Procorat. The Procorat was connected straight to the clean channel of my PV Watcher. I have a noise gate on the flex loop of the amplifier. The amplifier is connected straight to my load box, my load box to my interface and I was using some IRs from Torpedo Wall of Sun S cabinets. On the solo I was using my Greco Supreme Sound Buster and the guitar have uh, the Marcio Joe Duplantier on the bridge. But the rest of the review we're gonna do it with my Gibson Les Paul Studio. So yeah, let's check out some tones with the Procorat and at the end of the video I'm gonna give you my conclusion about the pedal. Alright guys, so this guitar is on this standard and like I said I'm in front of the clean channel of my PV Watcher. Now even if this is the clean channel of the amplifier I have a little bit of break up on it as you guys can hear. This is how the clean channel sounds by itself. Put a picture of the settings of the clean channel so you guys can see how it is. Like I said it has a little bit of... It's not super clean. All right, as you guys can see, all the knobs of the pedal are in the middle. Like I said, one, once again, this is how the clean channel of the amplifier sounds without the pedal. All right, now we're gonna engage the pedal. three knobs on it, distortion, filter and volume. We're gonna start increasing the distortion. That's the way I'm gonna leave the volume for now.
very simple pedal, very nice. And uh, something that I gotta add is that um, a lot of people confuse this with uh, a lot of people confuse the filter knob with an EQ knob, but it's not really an EQ. It's actually a filter. You can see that the more you increase. you increase the filter your tone seems to get vacuum out and the more you get more treble and a little bit more of a full sound uh, if you decrease the filter. Now the way that I use the pedal on the intro of the video on the mix was around this The only difference was uh, that in the solo I put a little bit more of gain and that's actually because the other guitar uh, have a PIF pickup and it's not a really a high gain pickup. The JB is not either but the other one have less gain. Now for those two metal and stoner lovers uh, I'm gonna increase the gain a little bit and I'm gonna add a chorus to check how the pedal sounds trying to get a doom metal kind of sound. Here the pedal gets really fussy when you increase the gain all the way up. There's something that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a phaser in front of it. and my experience and what I think about the Proco Ride. Like I said, I think that this is a must have in almost any pedal board. My first experience with Proco Ride was a couple of years ago, about five, six, seven years ago. I used to share a rehearsal studio with a reggae ska rock band and the guitar player of this band used to have a Proco Ride. And one day I stay in the studio listening to them and most of the riffs that the guys used to play were cleans, but like I said, they were like a kind of hard rock band with reggae. And and the first time that I hear that song live, and um, the guy engaged the Procorat uh, for the part that had distortion, I look around and I was like, what the fuck is that? That, that? that sounds amazing. It was a very unique sound. It was fat, it was fussy, it was high gain. Then I did realize that the guy was playing a Procorat and I was impressed. If you guys want a metal sound with this pedal, you need a little bit of breakup, you need a little bit of overdriven sound on your clean channel. Like, and the pedal is gonna give you the sound that I use on the intro of this video. If you don't want that much gain, high gain, you just use the pedal in front of a really clean channel. The more you increase the gain, the pedal is gonna get more fussy. And also this pedal can be used as a boost in front of a gain channel. Yep, that was my conclusion. I really like this pedal. 
like I said, and I'm gonna see it again, I think this is most, almost any pedal board, it is a really cool sounding distortion. That was my conclusion. This was Solomon of Solomon Demons. Take care and bye.